Hey everyone, hope you all are having an amazing day. To make your day even more interesting, we at Intellipad have brought a very interesting video on automation testing career paths and career options. This session is conducted by an expert having more than 15 plus years of industry experience. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and also hit on the bell icon so that you will never miss an update from us. So this is the agenda for uh, today's video. Firstly, I'll be talking about what exactly is automation testing. And next, I'll be talking about the career path to take in automation testing domain. And finally, I'll be talking about uh, some few of the tricks, uh, tips and tricks to grow in the automation testing domain. Now that we know what we will learn today, let us move ahead with the video. So what is automation testing? Automation testing is concerned with the process of creating test cases and executing them based on predefined actions using various tools and software. It has various advantages over manual testing including reduced time, improved performance, lower operational expenses, scalability and uh, many more applications. This industry is expected to reach over 30 billion US dollars by 2024. According to statistics and the demand for highly trained automation professionals is fast increasing in this digital age. In addition, following are some of the important duties and responsibilities of an automation test engineer in an organization. So I'll be listing out some of the important duties and responsibilities here writes uh, test automation scripts and identifying automation test cases. This is the primary uh, responsibility of an automation test engineer and is also responsible for enhancement of test frameworks and they have to maintain a close eye on defect management process and finally they have to prepare test reports and cooperate with other teams. Now let us jump into our main topic of today's video that is career path in automation testing. Meanwhile, there is no specific eligibility or academic requirement for automation testing. But if you have an academic background in a specific domain, such as a bachelor's or a master's degree in computer science or information technology, etc., or any related uh, domains, it will be extremely beneficial to you because it will not only familiarize you with the fundamentals and underlying mechanisms of the field, but it will also assist you in obtaining some exciting career opportunities. Furthermore, if we are talking about technical skills, hands-on experience or anything else that's required to become an automation testing professional, we've put together a comprehensive roadmap that covers all of the paths to a rewarding career in automation testing. The first step is to become a programming language expert. You are completely incorrect if you believe that uh, coding or programming abilities are not required for automation testing. You must have a thorough understanding of programming languages and their uh, associated programming principles. It will prepare you for a variety of important automation testing tasks including unit testing, uh, task automation, code review and many others. The next step is to learn about SQL queries and databases. Let's move on to another important uh, tech skill that you need. Uh, to be a successful automation testing professional, knowledge of uh, SQL queries and databases is essential. Fundamental SQL principles such as uh, DML, DDL, uh, TCL and uh, other languages that includes with the uh, SQL uh, language is also necessary. Though it is not necessary to have a thorough understanding of all the relational databases, you can begin by learning about Oracle, or MySQL and other database management systems. Furthermore, in order to gain more experience in the testing domain, you must be familiar with a variety of data types such as XML, JSON and others. The next step is to understand the basics of automation testing. Now let's take a deeper dive into the world of automation testing. You need to be familiar with automation testing principles. First and foremost, you should familiarize yourself with the automation testing life cycle. That is ATLC for short. Uh, you should familiarize yourself with the ATLC concepts and practices. ATLC is concerned with a structural testing process in general which consists of multiple stages for all of the needed testing operations. Now I'll be listing out the phases of the ATLC. The first phase is uh, defining the test automation scope and uh, selecting the appropriate uh, automation tools and after that 
you need to plan design and uh, strategize for the test followed by creating a testing environment and finally development and execution of automation test scripts as well as test analysis and report generation the next step in a career path is to gain experience in manual testing you're probably wondering uh, why you'd need to get manual testing experience before moving on to automation testing right okay let's get this straight undoubtedly manual testing came first and ruled the domain for a long time and it is still doing fairly well in the modern era of automation testing as a result practicing manual testing will undoubtedly provide you with an understanding of the key concepts and several underlying mechanisms of the testing field furthermore it will assist you in obtaining a variety of exciting career opportunities as many it goliaths want some experience with uh, manual testing when hiring automation testing professionals now given that you are already a part of the automation testing domain uh, let to see how you can uh, experience growth and jump to the next level the next step is gain experience in manual testing now given that uh, you're already part of the automation testing domain uh, let us see how you can experience growth and jump to the next level so the level one or the very first entry point into automation domain is the junior automation engineering role a junior automation engineer is someone who is new to automation testing and is referred to as a junior automation uh, engineer they may have prior testing experience but they are fresh to coding alternatively they may have limited coding abilities but no testing experience the engineer can now add tests to the suite because the test project and automation framework have already been developed they are effectively putting together tests using a pre-existing building blocks just a quick info guys intellipad provides test architect master's degree program by bellhaven university the course link of which is given in the description below now let's continue with the session because it is a software development project requiring coding architecture and testing abilities a young engineer should uh, not be tasked with constructing a test automation project from the ground up more senior automation engineers or feature developers should assist them mid level automation engineer a mid level automation engineer has strong coding and testing abilities and can not only automate tests but also enhance an existing test project and framework to offer new test functionality given an existing framework a mid level automation engineer for example can add supporting classes and functions for new pages components or services as needed rather than relying on team members to do so the mid level automation engineer on the other hand is is quite ready to start from scratch on the complete test project senior automation engineer a senior automation engineer is skilled in both coding and testing they can create a test automation project from the ground up in addition to producing automated tests senior automation engineers are familiar with a variety of test specific design patterns and when to apply them engineers at this level are frequent reviewers of test related pull requests and assist in the development of teams best practices these automation engineers may teach developers how to construct tests and code that can be tested they can also tell which tests should be automated and which ones aren't worth the effort because they have delegated much of this activity to developers and young automation engineers senior automation engineers don't spend as much time creating tests as they should as they used to do instead they devote more effort to developing the test framework which will aid others in creating tests in an effort to actively listen to what the tests are saying about the product's condition these engineers are also more involved in monitoring and triaging builds level 4 of this career path is automation architect an automation architect is a well versed in all the aspects of software delivery they can not only create testing projects from the ground up but they can also do so in a way that is both maintainable and reusable they have a strong grasp of coding and software design principles as well as when and where abstraction should be used automation architects are knowledgeable about a variety of automation solutions and can correctly assess new tools for their team's needs a good automation architect can write automated tests at all levels including unit integration level and end to end level as well to improve their test suits uh, skilled architects are even comfortable using multiple methodologies and tools while automation architects may write some of the most efficient tests you've ever seen this isn't always the best use of their time 
Instead, uh, they're more likely to be found designing uh, test frameworks and internal tools to aid other engineers in their work. These tools can be used for more than only tests. They can also be used for other productivity solutions. Automation architects are frequently assigned to the entire departments rather than a single sprint team due to their vast skill set. Automation team lead. Automation leads are in charge of directing a group of automation engineers. They mentor and provide strategies to people who are junior to them. Automation team uh, leads like the automation architects understand how automated tests fit into the larger picture of the software delivery. And they frequently use their skills to build CI-CD pipelines, that is continuous integration and continuous development pipelines. They also optimize test execution and ensure that uh, automated tests provide timely and reliable feedback to the team. Automation team leaders are frequently tasked with expanding the army of STETS and hence interviewing and hiring responsibilities. Other stakeholders including uh, managers, business owners, scrum masters, developers and testers work with automation leads on a regular basis. They assist these essential individuals in comprehending the role of automation and the ways in which they might contribute to its success. Level 6 is Consulting Automation Engineer. The ability to create a winning test automation approach is what most consulting automation experts are engaged in. They will frequently create an initial test project as, as well as a few tests to present a proof of concept that the team can utilize and grow. Many automation consultants are hired on a temporary basis to get the team on track. But some firms use consulting automation experts full time. Consulting automation engineers frequently brainstorm for numerous teams and departments while working as a full time permanent employee. Forming a company wide uh, test automation strategy. At this level, automation engineers have a wide range of experience and uh, have studied it to find common issues, methodologies, and strategies that may be found in uh, most of the automation projects. As a result, uh, they are able to anticipate issues before they occur and advise on the best course of action to mitigate or eliminate problems entirely. The top consulting automation engineers not only provide technical competence but also assist firms in developing a culture that encourages test automation. Now I would like to conclude uh, the video. As you can see, the test automation career path has a lot of depth and plenty of possibilities for advancements. Hopefully, by now, you know what steps you need to take to start from scratch or advance to the next level in the field of automation testing. Thank you for watching till the end, guys. Just a quick info, guys. IntelliPad provides Test Architect Master's Degree Program by Bellhaven University, the course link of which is given in the description below.